Hello guys, Smart Polly here. Welcome back to another tutorial. So today I want to show you guys how to set up proper breast physics for your female character here. That way you can just simply have it simulate and it will look 100% realistic because it is simulating physics. So as you can see here, you can walk around with your character and you can see it properly simulate when you jump or you run and so on. It will also work for any clothing that you apply to your character. So any different type of clothing will also simulate with this. Now the reason why this is better than morph targets is because it's very easy to set up. It only takes a couple minutes and it has some really good results. So I just want to give a shout out to this guy who showed me this method. Uh, big thanks to him. And without out of the way, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so we're here in Daz Studio. I have my character model here. It's this Casey character. Basically, we're just gonna go ahead and export this and import it into Blender. So to get it all ready for that, we can go ahead and just delete the eyebrows. We don't want that. Okay, so we just have the eyelashes and the character here. Okay, so then we can go to File, Export. On our desktop, we can make a new folder. We can name this character. And then in here, we can just name this character. Okay, so you can collect the textures to folder if you want all that. Uh, I'm not gonna set up the textures for this video. I'm just going to quickly show you how to do this. And then of course, if you want all your morphs, you can import all those. And yeah, so I just hit accept. Okay, and now we can go ahead and open up Blender. And then just go ahead and delete all that. Then we go to File, Import, FBX to our desktop, our character, character FBX, uncheck use pre post rotation, and then check automatic bone orientation, import FBX. Okay, so we can zoom up in here. All right, and then select the bones. You want to go to the viewport right here, viewport display, click in front so we can see the bones. Next up, what we have to do is go ahead and go into edit mode, and then we want to click add single bone, and then we can go ahead and scale this down. And I'm just doing that by selecting this and clicking G to scale, and then Z on the Z axis. So we can select this part of the bone and rotate it by clicking R, and then selecting X as axis. Basically, we're gonna create a bone for each breast here. So we can G and X to translate it and position it back there. Okay, and then we can also bring this a little bit smaller. Go to view, viewport uh, left. I'm just gonna move this up on the Z axis a little bit like that. And then click on the single bone and click E to extrude and then select the z-axis here and then g to transform and then onto the y-axis here so just like that okay and we're going to actually go ahead and select these both g and then x to transform kind of get it centered and then just select this part g and x to kind of angle it out then we just want to select those both armature duplicate and then g x kind of center that select this one G and then X again to kind of or mirror this right here. So that looks about pretty good. What we can go ahead and do is rename our bones. So just select your bones, go to the bone tab right here. Going to rename this to breast R and then this one as breast R1. Okay, and then the one on the left here is gonna be breast L and this one will be named breast L1. So now what we can go ahead and do is parent these bones to somewhere onto our skeleton. So just select this bone right here, go to relations, parent will be abdomen upper. Okay, same thing for this. Select the bone, go to the bone tab, parent, abdomen upper. Next up, all we gotta do is weight paint these both here to the breasts. So to do that, we just got to go back into object mode, select our mesh, go into weight paint okay and then we select this bone right here make sure your strength is 100 we can adjust our radius here and then you start painting basically 
entire breast here. And you don't have to be perfect at any means. Okay, and we can also size down our radius here and get underneath this part. And then down under here as well, you can go under here. Okay, and you can also clean this up right here by our tuning our weight down. All right, so that looks about good like that. Then we just got to right click this bone and do the same. So turn up your weight, turn up your radius, and then you can just paint. Okay, maybe I just need to turn down my radius a little bit here. Okay, so that looks about good like that. Okay, we'll go back into object mode there. Now all that's left to do is to export this. One more thing is um, the eyelash mesh needs to be joined to the character. I'm not going to show this in this video because it's just a nuisance to do. If you want to learn how to do that, you can go ahead and watch my other previous video on how to fix the eyelashes and import that properly. So with everything selected, we go to file, export, .fbx, uh, desktop, go to your character folder. We can name this our character. And then in our output settings here, we just want to uncheck apply modifiers, uncheck add leaf bones, and uncheck bake animation. Okay, so file, export. Okay, make a new folder in your project and then go to your character folder. And before you import this, you want to run your R character file through the FBX joint renamer. If you don't have this, make sure you download it from the description below. This will help us rename all the bones. Extract this, go into the debug folder, drag and drop our character file, right click the rig, edit this, and change whatever this is to your fbx file name so in this case it's our character file save that then we can go ahead and run it and that will just change all of the bones and it will output a file named output so we can drag and drop that on our desktop and rename this our character and you can drag and drop that into unreal engine all right so when you import it you want to import it as a skeletal mesh import the mesh keep this empty if you want morph targets, you can import morph targets. Then you want to make sure you check this box, convert scene unit, because this is going to uh, fix the scaling and make sure that the physics asset is properly generated. Okay, and then if you want to import the materials and textures, you can check those, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so now that it's imported here, we can see we have our physics asset and our skeletal mesh. So if we go ahead and open up our physics asset here, you can see all the different uh, bodies here and all the capsules. So yours might be a little bit more different, like there might be, uh, for example, a big capsule right in the middle, or it might be just completely all over the place. Basically what you wanna do is whatever capsule is like all over the place, you can click on it, right click here and click regenerate bodies and that should somewhat fix it up uh, if not you can always go ahead and rotate this and kind of readjust it back to the way it should be okay so basically what we have to do now is to regenerate that one right there and then this one can be scaled down okay and then we want to bring the chest or the spine zero one a little bit back also you can see here the face is kind of messed up we have the upper face ring you can just go ahead and delete that and then for the lower face rig you can delete that too and then the head right here you can size this down if it's really bugging you and this one you can also delete and later I'll actually show you how to properly set this up um, but for now we're just going to set it up that way we can just simulate just the breasts Okay, so if you scroll down here, you're gonna find breast R and breast L, and then R1 and L1. So for breast R, you just want to click on that, click add shape, spear, go ahead and scale that down. All right, and set this to kinematic, save that. Then breast L, same thing, add shape, spear. 
scale that down and then save this to kinematic save that then for r1 you want to right click add a shape add a spear and you just want to scale this down to about that size and kind of match this up like that okay and you want to set this to simulated and we actually want to move this or scale this back a little bit okay move this a little bit forward okay and then for brush l1 you want to right click add shape add spear same thing go ahead and scale this down and move this around here okay so that looks about good right there and you want to set that to simulate it as well so we have to set up all of our constraints and then also all of our settings for the constraints we actually should just go ahead and rename these to breast r and then rename this to breast r1 okay so just so everything's organized then select r1 and right click here constraint to R okay and you can see here it adds a constraint now for our settings here you want to go to the linear limits put these all to limited give it a limit of 5 and then the angular limits you want to limited 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 set these to 20 20 and 20 okay and then down here to the linear motor want to check box these and leave it at 50 and if you want to be able to view your mannequin better, you can also go to character, bodies, only selected solid. And you can click onto this and simulate selected and you can see it's simulating. Okay, so we want to do the same for this one right here. Click the L1 right here and right click that constraint you want to constrain it to breast L and then click on the constraint change the linear limits to limited and to 5 angular limits limited 20 at each axis then for linear motor just check all those and save that okay so you can also check on that and simulate that okay so it's kind of leaning off to the right a little bit so we might have to just adjust I have to just pull this in a little bit like that so we'll go ahead and see what this looks like so what we have to do now is to get some animations here retargeted for the skeleton so we can see it in action and to do that you can open up your skeleton click this applied asset for our skeleton you want to go over to retargeting manager if you don't have this go to window uh, retargeting manager okay and go to select rig humanoid rig and then you want to set all of these properly so root would be genesis 8 female pelvis would be pelvis and so on just want to do that for all of these and for the advanced you want to set all of these okay so I'm just going to load my bone mapping because I've already done this before so I can show you all my bones if you just want to look at these and match them up okay so once you have that all set up you just want to click save go to skeleton tree go to options show retargeting options right click set recursive translating retargeting system select here animation for female the pelvis will be animation scaled collapse these go to spine and select animation okay save that now you can retarget your character skeleton to anything you want. So if you go to the third person Anim BP, you search that up. You can right click the Anim BP, retarget Anim Blueprints, and then select your R character rig skeleton. And you're gonna see it appear here. Uh, change the folder location to our character, and then click retarget. As you see here, it retargeted all the animations. All right, next up, what we have to do is open up our third person character. Then what you want to do is select the mesh and change this to our character. So change that. And then for your blend space, you just want to change it to your anim BP right here and compile, save that. 
Okay, so if we were to play this as is, it's not going to work. So you have to do a few more things to set it up. First things first, you want to select on this capsule component. Scroll down to the collision. Set this to custom. And for physics body, you want to set this to overlap. Okay, if you don't do that, it's going to glitch out because the capsules are trying to collide with this main capsule. What you want to do is go to your vent graph or your vent play. And then what you want to do is drag off here and actually get the mesh and set all bodies below simulate physics. And then promote the inbo name to a variable, compile that so we can edit the default value. So the value right here, you want to change this to breast R. And then click new simulate and uncheck include self. Duplicate that, connect that, delete this variable and promote a new one. Compile that, save it, and change this to breast L. Okay, so compile, save that. And then we can go ahead and click play in our game. And as you can see, the breast uh, physics are simulating. You can go ahead and jump up see everything simulate and so everything is working good so you can go ahead and play around with your physics asset here with the constraints angles the axes here as well as your linear motor you can also play with the bodies here on the linear damping so just check out all of these settings right here, swing limits to adjust the collisions here and the simulation. One thing I want to add is that for clothing and such, basically all you have to do is rig your clothing to your character skeleton. And then when you apply it to your character, it will automatically simulate it on top of uh, the breasts here. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys learned a bit. I might make a, another tutorial on how to, you know, set up proper clothing for this and also set up uh, some glute physics. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like. Uh, if you have any problems, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.